this is a very serious allegation. It does not, uh, an apology and a withdrawal of the statement is not sufficient. He should be immediately removed from the cabinet of this country. In any other democratic country, the prime minister would have moved him immediately. This after the minister claimed that criminals have friends in many places, including the judiciary. Senior counsel Khan has taken great offense to the comment. Out of place, improper. It's a slander on the judiciary. It is a wicked statement to make without offering an iota of evidence. He has indicated that the judges of this country are corrupt and will give rulings or decision to satisfy the criminal elements in the country. According to Khan, nothing is wrong with questioning the judiciary, but it must be done properly and with respect. The law recognized that many years ago, a case, Ambad Bojai, the attorney general, went to the Privy Council and said that it is the right of citizens to question the decision of the judiciary so long as they do not impute misconduct or corruption on the judiciary. The attorney says the only way for an apology to be accepted is for the minister to grovel. And Khan does not believe he will do that. Well, let him come and say, look, there's a slip of the tongue, a fraudulent slip. I made a mistake. I'm very sorry. I am contrite. I'm crawling on my belly. I didn't mean to do it. I explained that to the attorney general. He's not saying that. He's saying, oh, I'm a constitutional lawyer for so many years. And I know my right as a citizen of this country and as a minister of national security up till now. He has not given indication that he's wrong. Last week, Attorney General Reginald Moore, senior counsel, sought to defend the National Security Minister by saying that his remarks regarding the Brent Thomas matter were not intended to impugn the integrity of the judiciary. Nicole M. Romney, TV6 News.